one of the things that was most wonderful being around her is you felt like you were around somebody who really knew herself and and accepted herself with her flaws and and all rarefied ethereal idea of Rebecca and then the earthy you know funny version of her as well um, she was all those things and and she like really lived in that as a person and then brought that to the characters that she mm -hmm. played she was just a consummate artist but a consummate uh, technician as well and in rehearsal you know she would be the one in class saying is that you know the the an F sharp on the you know third measure <laughs> in like 12 8 time and I would be like just just play it for me and, and, I'll, and I'll hear it and eventually I'll, I'll understand it I'm trained I went to music school but I can't read the way she could read yeah <clears throat> and and so we all like so wanted to to get it exactly right for because this was the first time I'd ever worked with Steve you know on something of his that he was going to actually be around for so we all just knocked ourselves out but we were really kind of we always felt like Rebecca was like the you know the teacher's pet in, <laughs> in school because she always knew the right answers and um, and when we finally did our first run through for Steve he said thank you for you know for being so meticulous about learning the score you know accurately and 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 correctly and well now forget all that and just you know now live in it and now mm -hmm. make it yours and stuff and that was one of the most gratifying things ever but uh but it was it was kind of led and orchestrated in a way by by rebecca's rigor that's absolutely true it's absolutely true we were just trying to live up to her basically exactly she raised the bar yeah, for all of us truly <clears throat>